In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to install a VirtualBox virtual machine software on Windows 10. So, uh, if you already have downloaded, it's okay. If you haven't downloaded, you can write uh, VirtualBox in your Google. So, you will see, um, okay, I wrote the wrong spelling, but it's okay. It has found Oracle Virtual Machine VirtualBox. So, click on this link and uh, you are there download virtualbox 5.2 okay now let's see what operating system we already have i am right now on windows 10 if you get the properties you will see windows 10 is there with dual cpu 4 gb of ram i have and 64 bit operating system so uh, it's recommended that you must have at least 4 GB of RAM because when you will create the virtual machine you will also need to allocate some memory to that virtual machine. So I will uh, download the appropriate operating system, uh, sorry virtual machine. Uh, my host is Windows. So I will click here, as I will click on it you will see uh, an exe file will start downloading. Uh, it's a file of 109 MB at the time of this download uh, so I already have this uh, download so I'll pop, cancel it here and I'll open that file for the installation okay once downloaded you will see uh, just click on the setup files you will see a dialog box a wizard will start uh, click on next it's a very straightforward process choose the location where you want to install if you want to change the location click the browse button but if you are okay with the given location so just click next uh, I will recommend you for the first time install with all default options selected uh, okay next so network feature will reset your network connection temporarily okay uh, and install so uh, the installation may take some time uh, give it the permission and once the installation will complete we'll have the software ready to create the virtual machine so once it gets done uh, we'll continue to create the virtual machine for it may take some time for till then i'm pausing the installation okay guys you see now it's installed so uh, i'll uh, keep this option selected click on finish that uh, it should start the virtual box software automatically and uh, as it starts you will also see uh, an icon also uh, appeared here virtual machines virtual box okay so make sure uh, whichever operating system you are currently using select that appropriate download so it's started you can see um, I already have a virtual machine created uh, let's create a new virtual machine click on the new icon and it will ask you for the name uh, I want it Ubuntu I already have window so I'll select a Ubuntu it's very uh, smart it will uh, bring the type of operating system by itself otherwise you can also choose it yourself explicitly and the version I'll have the 64 bit right so I have the 64 bit processor in my machine click on the next I have a 4 GB of RAM. I will allocate 2 GB to this new virtual machine. So it's okay, 1920 MB. Click on that. Uh, it's asking you for the virtual disk. As uh, we need a virtual hard drive, so it's okay. We'll create a new virtual disk. Create and uh, VDI file is more better. Uh, VDI stands for virtual disk image. I'll keep that selected. Click on that. Dynamically location is more better okay it will grow inside as required so uh, initially i'll keep it of 40 gb uh, uh, it, i have a 2 t terabytes available i'll keep this just till uh, 40 gb so you see i have ubuntu if you want to change its name you can go into settings and uh, change the name for this machine for example ubuntu new uh, machine you will see it's appeared here you can again go into settings and uh, change the options as per your uh, requirement 
तो थैंक यू वेरी मच वी